after an e-biker ran into a young boy as he was crossing the street, with the impact causing the child to fall and roll over, a woman who had been nearby did not hesitate to mete out punishment to the careless cyclist, smacking him on the side of the head twice. The woman, accompanied by a man, had been in front of the boy while they were crossing at an intersection and was also seen railing at the cyclist and repeatedly pointing at the traffic light, which showed green for pedestrians, indicating that they had the right of way. The incident video was posted on SG Road, Vigilante's Facebook and YouTube pages on Thursday, September 28. Meanwhile, her companion checked on the boy, ensuring he was uninjured despite the e-bike ramming into him. The boy, fortunately, appeared to be unharmed. He stood quickly and picked up the items he had dropped during the collision. Some commenters thought the man who helped the boy and the woman who berated the e-biker may have been the child's parents, but this seems unlikely. The caption on the post says the incident occurred on September 19 at the junction of Coleman Street and Hill Street at around 7.30 in the evening. Cyclists on bike without helmet on the road failed to conform to red light signal, knocked down child, quoted bicycle, ran red light, colliding into pedestrian young child in the face, causing young child to tumble and roll backwards, it reads. Commenters on social media called the cyclist out for his carelessness, and others expressed concern for the boy. As someone who has landed on his head on solid ground without protective gear, man, it really hurts. The parents should not have let that e-biker leave. They should call the police. The child might have suffered a concussion without them realizing it. Hope the kid is alright. In any case, file a police report and let them investigate, just in case Kate needs medical attention in future due to PMD's negligence. How are the authorities able to manage these offenders when there is no way of recognizing them? Without the necessary license plate, these offenders cannot be identified by video as proof of their offense. By not wanting to identify them, is this a way of telling them that they can continue to commit the offence? E-bikes should be registered with LTA's license plate number. They also need to buy insurance like motorcycles in case any accident injuries occurs. Hope that boy is fine. Report police. And send kit for medical checkup.